It is the Glenn Beck Program. Mike Opelka hosting. I also have a show on the Blaze Radio Network called Pure Opelka, so I'm hosting that too. Visit theblaze.com, would you? Can you stop by, go to the channel section, and click on my mug? I need you to follow me. I'd appreciate it. About four years ago, I became aware of what Common Core was, the Common Core curriculum, and how in the height of the financial crisis, the federal government swooped in with this idea to take over the education system on a local level, to come in and, and tell all of those counties and cities that were having budget crunches, especially in their education budget, because of the, the huge financial crisis we were in, that we have money for you, but we want you to do something for us. And we want to introduce this wonderful thing called Common Core and the Common Core standards that they're only going to help the children. They're only going to make it better for everybody. And anytime somebody comes to you and gives you money and then says you have to implement these programs and it's just going to make everything better. I'm suspicious because anytime something's going to make my life better, I usually have to pay for it. I usually have to purchase it. And I have to make, um, it's incumbent upon me to make an educated purchase. As a consumer, I like to know, well, what else could I have purchased? And is there something with a better value? Not the case with Common Core. It was rammed down the throats of all the states that were in financial trouble. So that would just be 50 out of 50. And when we woke up and went, hang on a second, this Common Core thing is not good. It's changing the way our kids are taught. It's changing the way our kids are tested, which is kind of like constantly. It's taking control of the education process out of the hands of the teachers. And we started fighting back. But Common Core, like Obamacare, has deep tentacles that have gotten inside of our educational system. And it's not just easy to go in and go, all right, no more Common Core. And despite the fact that Donald Trump made that a campaign promise that he was going to get rid of Common Core, I don't know how realistic that is. In order to understand it and to try and also realize that there's more going on in the world than the Jim Comey testimony, we brought in a friend of mine who is also a radio person in upstate New York, but she's a warrior on Common Core. Her name is Shannon Joy, and she's joining us this morning on the Glenn Beck program. Hello, my friend. How are you? Well, hello, Michael Pelka. How are you? Thank you so much for having me. You're welcome. Happy to have you here. Did I, I think I got the setup on Common Core right, didn't I? You absolutely did, and then I'm going to take it one step further for you and for your audience. Okay. What was once a, a voluntary, seemingly, quote-unquote, voluntary grant program, the Race to the Top program put in place by the Obama administration, um, you know, that was the initial mechanism that brought Common Core into every school district in the United States of America. But it was the Republicans led by Lamar Alexander and a Republican-led Senate and House of Representatives that passed the ESSA Act. It was the Every Student Succeeds Act hmm. in 2015. That legislation, which was pitched to the American people and conservatives as a solution to Common Core, was indeed the exact opposite. It codified into law that voluntary grant program that was put in place by Obama, by Obama. So not only do we still have Common Core in nearly every single school district in the United States of America today, it is even it is even more deeply entrenched. In addition, Mike, what your audience might not know is that through my research and through you know all of the the research we've done over the years, I have not been able to find a single charter school in the United States of America, not a single one that isn't fully and totally aligned with the common core. Wow. The way that you know if your school, your charter or your private or your public is aligned with the, the common core is simply by the testing. So for parents out there, if you want to know if your school is aligned, what you have to do is figure out if they're taking the federally aligned common core test. You'll see the branding all over the test and you'll see, you'll see the common core insignia, the trademark logo all over as well. If your school is administering those exams, those tests, they are aligned with the Common Core, and I have yet to find a single charter. So Republicans now are putting forth a false solution. They're coming out, uh, you know, Donald Trump, Betsy DeVos, 
some of our favorite conservative Republicans. I don't know if they quite understand the, the nuance of this, but they're pitching to conservatives the idea of school choice vouchers and charters as a solution when that is not the case in every piece of legislation in every state including texas which voted it down just recently because of this every voucher program every choice program requires that the the user of that voucher or that choice uh, education institution must be aligned with the federal standards those standards are common core so not only is it in our public schools it's in our charters and the Republicans are fixing to get it everywhere else. Shannon, uh, you, you bring up a real scary reality that that this thing has, uh, as I said, it has more tentacles and deep roots. But how do, I want to ask you how we fight it. But I also I also want to ask what what parents can do when they realize that their kids in a common core program, even if they put them in a charter school. And what does a parent say to an administrator, a, a school superintendent who says to them, hey, what's wrong with having standards? These are standards that apply to all the kids around the country. What's your big problem with Common Core? Because I think we need to arm parents with information. If they're willing to go into battle against Common Core, we need to give them we need to give them the ammunition. So wh what are the one or two things you as a parent can say when you're up there questioning these folks on Common Core? Well, first of all, the, the issue is in standards. And that's one of the, the red herrings that uh, the education uh, planners on the right and the left will use to distract people. Because no one wants their kid to be a snowflake, right? Right. You know, every parent wants kids to have high standards. Every parent wants a school to have high standards. That's, that's obvious. The question isn't the standards, it's the curriculum. And what the standards do because of the testing and the evaluation is drive the curriculum. So what you have in a sense, you know, the next generation science standards are essentially global warming and climate change sustainability curriculum. You have politics injected into the schools through the curriculums that they must put in place in order for the kids to achieve on the test that are supposed to judge the standards. So that's a, that's a red herring. It's a false choice. It has nothing to do with standards. It has everything to do with the curriculum. For example, the, the social studies curriculums, many of them that are co common core aligned, are teaching children to be global citizens and, to, uh, and are shaping their attitudes, behaviors, and beliefs, right? So they're, they're indoctrinating children into collectivism, globalism, socialism, and they're doing it in the guise of standards in a curriculum. So that's number one. What parents can do, every parent that is listening to my voice today, if you are in a charter, a private, a public, today you can make the commitment to refuse to allow your child to take the Common Core exams. The assessments and the tests, any of those exams, that is the carrot and the stick. That is how the federal government and the state government gets your school district and your teachers to implement those false standards. If parents across this nation refuse to allow their children to be guinea pigs, to be tested incessantly by the federal government and education bureaucrats, Common Core will be gone tomorrow. That's as easy as it is. You have to take away the testing. Then you have some work that we need to do on our, our federal officials, senators. I'm telling you, Mike Opelka, we don't have a single friend in the Senate, not one friend wow. in the Senate or in the House of Representatives that understands the nuance in the, and the tentacles of Common Core. They are putting forth what they think are solutions, which is the school choice and the voucher. Those are false solutions. What was once a great idea has now been hijacked by progressives, and it is only going to further entrench the federal government, not only into public schools, but also into charters. Here's the other dirty little secret. There's a reason that the unions, Randy Weingarten and Betsy DeVos, are so buddy-buddy, so chummy. All over the United States of America, they're going on, you know, speaking tours and listening tours. That is because I believe as eventually as they move to close down public schools and turn them into charter schools, what you're going to see happen is those charters are going to begin to unionize. It's going to happen very fast, and we're going to have the exact same problem that we have with the public schools except one difference. Charter schools do not have a board of education, a democratically mm. elected local board of education. They have a board of supervisors that appoints a parent as a liaison. So what is you're going to have are charter schools all over the country that are directly tethered to the federal government. They are not controlled locally in any way, shape, or form, and we will have even less of a voice 
than we do now with our current public education system. That's how important this, this is, this charter and, and choice battle. This is why in Texas, that bill was killed just a couple months ago, Mike. It was not by liberals. It was not by Democrats in Texas. It was by homeschool moms and dads and grandparents who saw the false choice, the false charter, the false voucher plan at, at, for what it truly was. Well, Shannon, I, I'm glad you brought up Texas because Texas was the first thing that caught my eye with their C-Scope program, which only changed its name. And now we're, we're seeing Common Core is really just changing its name, but it's also sliding, sliding into or has slid into the charter school system and completely infected that system. Uh, I could I could dive into this and tear this apart all day long. And I'm not a guy with kids. I'm just a, a guy who cares about the country. What Shannon has pointed out here is that Common Core is not just about the testing. It's about what they're testing the kids for in knowledge. And they have preloaded this agenda, this global citizen agenda, this global climate change agenda, this everybody's got to be fair agenda. It's the snowflake agenda that's been preloaded into the, the system that they will test them to see if they know this. Shannon, I, I've got just about a minute left. In that minute, you used to have a site that you told me about where people can go to find out the testing in their area and where parents can find out how to uh, opt out for their kids on these kind of tests. Where do they go? Sure, Mike. So parents can go one of my favorite resources. I'm going to give your audience a couple resources. One of the best is truthinamericaneducation.com. Okay. Uh, that gives you all the up-to-date information on Common Core. Also, Jane Robbins of American, Principal, American Principles Project, she is a fantastic voice on this. Neil McCluskey from the Cato Institute is wonderful, and Duke Pasta. So if you Google any one of those, uh, follow them on Twitter, follow them on Facebook. Uh, you can get up to date on what is happening with Common Core. But for every parent in America, you can refuse to take these Common Core exams. We just finished them up this year, but let me tell you, next year you're going to have to take them again. They're probably going to change the name of the, of the Common Core. Uh, look out for next generation standards or something like that. They're going to completely rebrand the Common Core uh, to try to, to hide what they're doing. That's going to happen next year. But I can assure you all, the curriculum, the standards, the evaluations, the testing, it's all exactly the same. Thank you, my friend. Her name is Shannon Joy. You can follow her on Twitter at Shannon Joy Radio. She knows this stuff inside out, and it's, it's vital information. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks for being here. Thanks, Mike. <sighs> I got to step aside. This just makes me furious. Why would be, you can't abdicate your children's education? And trust me, homeschoolers, homeschool parents, they're coming for you this year. That's the next target to get you out of business and bring those kids back into the fold.